Look at that thing. It's almost done. But basically it's just a big funnel. It's just a big funnel that's gonna channel all that plasmid stuff down into a bucket that will just go right here. The plasma machine will sit right here. Bead rolled floored. And then um, all this is just uh, 063 aluminum sheet metal. It's gonna have rivets all down through it. May do a little bead rolling in here and then it'll have some flanges that come out and tie in like this. So, stay tuned for a video coming soon on this. All right, fellas, let's talk a little bit. I want to talk about the point of diminishing returns. Now, you may have heard that phrase, or you may not have. All right, so I've had a ton of comments on the videos where I work on this welding table. I've also had a few where I worked on the plasma table. And the comments basically go like this. You're a fabricator. Why don't you just build a table from scratch? Versus using the weldtables.com kit. Or the comment goes, Ah, uh, the title said you built a table. You didn't build a table. You just you just assembled one. Which, what, whatever. So this is the thing I want to talk to you guys about. And some of you might be familiar with this concept, but my experience in the corporate world years ago was that a lot of people don't get this. They don't they don't understand it. They don't think that far ahead. And that is the point of diminishing returns. So. Basically what I call it is stepping over a dollar to pick up a dime, okay? There are people that go way out of their way to go pick up that dime, to go save that dime, that they're stepping right over a dollar. How that kind of ties into this table is this. So, to build a table from scratch as a fabricator, as anybody, you don't even have to be a fabricator, right? You can just go and buy the materials and weld the table together from scratch. Material is going to cost you a couple hundred bucks. You're going to have tons of time in it, way more time than you'd have assembling one of these tables. And in the end, you're not going to have a table that is nearly as good. I don't care what you say. It's not going to be nearly as precise. It's not going to have all the fixture mounts. It's not going to have all these things that you have in these tables or in these plasma. And you're going to have almost as much money materials, way more time. When you could have used that time, doing something that was a little more productive or a little more efficient. So, let me give you an example. If you're a fabricator and you make uh, $50 an hour, your shop rate is $50 an hour, or $80 an hour, or whatever your shop rate is, is that better spent spending 10 hours building a table or spending the money by the table, put it together in less time and then go use that time to make money, to make more money than what the table would have cost you in the first place. Right? You get that? You understand what I'm saying? For me, even if I wanted to build a table from scratch and I wanted to build it exactly like I wanted it, this is the thing. The time that it would have taken me to do it, uh, I could have been spent making videos. Videos is what I do. So I'm not really a fabricator. I'm a, I make videos. I'm a YouTuber. I make YouTube videos. That's that's what I do. That's how I make my money. So, so I can spend seven days making a welding table that I had to spend four or five hundred dollars in materials just to make that table, or I can buy one for eight nine hundred dollars that's all done. Spend a couple hours doing it, and then spend the next four or five days making videos that will make me money forever. It'll pay for this table ten hundred times over again. Just because I can fabricate it doesn't mean that I need to. Just because I can make a table doesn't mean that that's the smart thing to do. Sometimes the smart thing to do is to go to the companies that, ha that are set up to manufacture this stuff uh, and mass produce it. The precision's there, the uh, materials are cheaper. You're getting a much better product than it would be if you made it yourself. And this, this goes for everything. This is not for like welding tables or whatever. I mean, you wouldn't. You wouldn't want to go uh, forge your own 
block, right? You wouldn't want to go forge your own engine. You wouldn't want to go forge your own cylinder heads, right? Is it easier to spend a thousand bucks on a set of aluminum cylinder heads or to go make a set yourself? You could do it. You could do it just like everybody else does stuff. You could figure it out, but it doesn't make any sense. So keep that in mind. When you are thinking forward in your projects, keep that in mind. Don't step over that dollar to, to pick up that dime, right? Like you don't have to make everything yourself. Some things, it's, it's better for you in the long run just to buy them. It's gonna be better quality, it's gonna last longer, you're gonna have less headaches, and then you can spend that time that you would have spent making that, trying to further your business, trying to further your project, whatever that is. All right guys, there you go. Be mindful of that. You don't have to make everything. You know, the thing is about fabricators, I think, is that uh, most fabricators, they're born out of the need to make. So I know that this is true for me. When I was young, right out of high school, I didn't have the money to pay people to do things. And so I just did them myself. And it got, you know, over, the, over time of doing everything myself, my skills got a little bit better. I enjoyed it more. I liked the creative process. And so I kind of uh, it turned me into a fabricator. Like the, the need to have something done but couldn't afford it kind of evolved into what I do today. I think that's the case with a lot of people who are into fabrication is that it starts because they may not have the funds to pay somebody else to do it or to buy what it is that they need so they just make it. But at some point, you gotta kinda traverse out of that because you're just hurting yourself. You're spending way too much time messing with stuff that would have been way better to just buy or have somebody else do. You can focus on what it is you need to be focused on, not be doing busy work on stuff that you can buy cheaper, cheaper than your time. All right, guys, just a little rant for me. Those comments uh, kind of got me thinking. I know a lot of people struggle with this. Businesses struggle with this like crazy. I mean, I would guess that a majority of the businesses that don't succeed are because of this exact reason. They're focusing on the little tiny things uh, and in the process, they're losing tons of money. When you just, you gotta focus on the big things and don't worry about the little things. All right guys, that's all I've got for you today. I hope that there's one or two of you out there that could take something from that. More videos coming soon. Obviously this one, I've been working on it and I promised you a Bibster video, so soon.